Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Can you believe that we are now in the last few chapters of Genesis? When I started the Daily Visual Bible, a couple of questions I was asked was how I would be able to produce a show every day and how far into the Bible would I record? The honest answer to the first was then and is today, only with a lot of prayer and reflection. The honest answer to the second at the time was that I would probably get halfway through Genesis. I find it a blessing that I have proved myself wrong on this matter and I pray that I will continue for a long time to come. I feel we've come a long way together by only covering the first book of the Bible. I look forward to our continued relationship as we explore more of what the Bible actually has to say. Don't forget that you can email me directly at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com and you can check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk Of course, as always, you can find links to these in the description box below. When you're checking out those links, I ask you to consider the link of a friend of mine. Richard Turner will be cycling 207 miles to fight against human trafficking. Please carefully consider sponsoring this noble cause at www.justkiving.com forward slash A21 cycle. When you consider that the average age of a trafficking victim is 12 years of age, I trust you see the importance of this charity. That 12 year old is bound to be somebody's daughter or little sister. And let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 45 Then Joseph couldn't control himself before all those who stood before him, and he cried, Everybody leave me to speak to these men alone. No one else stood with him, but Joseph made himself known to his brothers. He wept loud. The Egyptians heard, and the house of Pharaoh heard. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Does my father still live? His brothers could not answer him, for they were terrified at his presence. Joseph said to his brothers, Come near to me, please. He came near. He said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. Now don't be saddened or angry with yourselves that you sold me here, for God sent me before you to preserve life. For these two years in the famine has been in the land, and are yet five years in which there will be no ploughing and no harvest. God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant in the earth, and to save you alive by great deliverance. So now, it wasn't you who sent me here, but God, and he has made me a father to Pharaoh, lord of all his house, and ruler over all the land of Egypt. Hurry, and go up to my father and tell him, this is what your son Joseph says, God has made me lord of all Egypt, come down to me, don't wait. You shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you will be near to me, you, your children, and your children's children, your flocks, your herds, and all that you have. There I will nourish you, for there are yet five years of famine, and you will come to poverty, you and your household, and all that you have. Look, your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin, that is my mouth that speaks to you. You shall tell my father of my glory in Egypt. And all that you have seen, you shall hurry and bring my father down here. He fell on Benjamin's neck, his brother, and wept. And Benjamin wept on his neck. He kissed all his brothers and wept on them. After that, his brothers talked with him. The report of it was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Joseph's brothers have come. It pleased Pharaoh well, and his servants. Pharaoh said to Joseph, Tell your brothers, do this, load your animals and go, try to the land of Canaan, take your father and your households and come to me, and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt, and you will eat the fat of the land. Now you are commanded, do this, take wagons out of the land of Egypt for your little ones, and for your wives, and bring your father and come. Also, don't concern yourselves about your belongings, the good of all the land of Egypt is yours. The sons of Israel did so. Joseph gave them wagons according to the commandment of Pharaoh, and gave them provision for the way. 
He gave each one of them changes of clothing, but to Benjamin he gave 300 pieces of silver and 5 changes of clothing. He sent the following to his father, 10 donkeys loaded with the good things of Egypt, and 10 female donkeys loaded with grain and bread and provision, for his father by the way. So he sent his brothers away, and they departed. He said to them, see that you don't crawl on the way. They went up out of Egypt, and came into the land of Canaan, to Israel their father. They told him, saying, Joseph is still alive, and he is ruler over all the land of Egypt. His heart fainted, for he didn't believe them. They told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said to them. When he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to call him, the spirit of Israel, their father, revived. Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is alive. I will go and see him before I die.